Okay. All right. We're singing. Okay. I have to ask you first, you <clears throat> must like these war-type movies. It, in fact, it's ironic that that, watching your father in one, kind of led you to want to act. Is that right? Well, it, it uh, definitely uh, pricked my interest, as it were. Um, yeah, Apocalypse wasn't the uh, deciding factor, mm -hmm. you know, but it was, it was uh, let me just light up here. Sure. I'm just going to light up. <laughs> but it was, um, you know, a, a, a production of uh, such magnitude that uh, it showed me, uh, you know, filmmaking at its, at its most highest point of madness, you know, and uh, so I kind of saw at an early age uh, how far and how zany things could get, you know. I was exposed to a lot of it as a kid, and uh, but ultimately, you know, the decision was my own mm -hmm. after the baseball thing fell apart and, uh, you know, all that. Does it ever bother you to see a dark side when you're making movies, or is it just work to you? What do you mean a dark side? Well, you see a lot of uh, guns and war and, and killing people, or is it just work and it doesn't really matter? Well, it, it matters when you're doing it, you know. I mean, because uh, to me there's something very personal about, about killing somebody on film. You know, I've, I've had the, the good fortune of taking about 30 lives on film thus far, you know. Um, it'll, it'll invade your dreams sometimes. It'll, uh, it'll haunt you a little bit. But, you know, I have to portray it when I'm doing it as, as realistically as possible. Um, but when it's over, you got to kind of just... Uh, step away from it you know you got to separate the, the fiction and the reality and just say uh, you know it's it's that's that and this is life and because mm -hmm. you can't kill people in real life or well heck you'll go to jail right. you know? <laughs> so yeah. was uh, the preparation for this movie tough very physical for you it was, it was tough I mean it wasn't anything like platoon where we had to like live in the bush for two weeks and you know no showers no phones no uh, no hot meals uh, <laughs> out in the Philippine jungle. Mm -hmm. We we trained with the seals. We only had about a week. I wish we had more time. Is you know, mostly uh, learning about the weapons, uh, which I had had a head start on because I'm, I'm a collector and a weapons enthusiast, you know. And uh, I was you know tactical maneuvering and uh, all kinds of things that the seals do. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was kind of a weird deal where we couldn't. Um, couldn't find out everything because mm -hmm. when these guys, a lot of them were either reserves or uh, retired or both and uh, there's only so much they can tell you mm -hmm. because when, they, when they're when they released from the teams they have to sign a uh, deal that says they will not discuss the things that have never happened, you mm -hmm. know, so they kind of take us to the edge and then it was some certain gray areas, yeah. you know, or gray matter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Uh, your baseball movies, are those more fun for you since you're a baseball nut anyway? Well, yeah, I, it's a different kind of fun, you know, uh, doing major league to get up and, and, uh, and pitch in front of 35, 40,000 people was, yeah. was a rush, you know, it was mm -hmm. a very different kind of adrenaline, whereas, you know, doing like a combat scene or, or something very dramatic is a different frame, but there's, you know, there's interesting elements about both of them. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, and I've been lucky to be able to play an interesting variety of uh, roles that kind of, it's just condensed education mm -hmm. and a little, little dabblance in all the different uh, job markets, you know. Yeah. Is there but anything that your father used in his career that you use deliberately now for yourself? Um, you mean as far as what, like drugs? <laughs> what are you asking me? <laughs> I mean some of his uh, technique, acting technique. Oh, technique. Well, <laughs> he he's um, you know he's taught me a few things over the years. Uh, I'm not a real technique kind of guy. You know, I mean I'm not a real method actor. You know, I don't believe you have to live it to play it. I can pretty much turn it on and off, but. Uh, he just said, "Just it's just a transference of reality, you know. It's 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 as though, you know, you've just you've stepped across a line from life to the fiction with a portion of what existed in the in the realistic side, you know. And you 
but you got to crank up the volume just a little bit because if we filmed life, nobody would go to the movies. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know. Gee. Well, I wish you lots of luck. Thanks well, for thanks. talking. We've run out of time so okay. quickly. So. Alrighty. I enjoyed it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.